What would happen if a nuclear bomb went off in the Mariana Trench? Let's break it down without getting too technical. The Tsar Bomber, a Soviet nuclear bomb from the Cold War, packed a massive punch, 58.6 megatons of power, promised by Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev. Join us at Cosmic Journey if you detonated a nuclear bomb in the Marianas Trench. Now, the Mariana Trench, a super deep canyon in the Earth's surface, is about 7 miles, 11 kilometers, deep, filled with water. The Tsar Bomber was dropped from a height of 6.5 miles, almost the same depth as the Mariana Trench. Coincidence? Probably not. If we decide to blow up the Mariana Trench, we need to figure out how to get the bomb down there. No easy feat the water pressure at those depths is intense, 110 megapascals, or 1,100 times normal atmospheric pressure. A bomb with the usual lead outer layer would just get squashed without going boom. Picture this, an eight giant uranium pancake, 130 feet, 40 meters, in diameter, at the trench's bottom, emitting radiation for centuries, but no explosion. The bomb won't compress enough for a bang. But what if we use a bathyscape, a deep-sea submersible that can handle the pressure? Now we're talking. If we detonate the bomb between 3 to 5 miles, 5 to 8 kilometers, deep, it's like a typical underwater nuclear test, but with a twist, a 400 feet, 122 meters, tsunami smashing into the Pacific Ocean surface. Japan, Southeast Asia, parts of Australia, eastern China, and the US Pacific coast would face massive flooding, with waves reaching up to 250 feet, 76 meters. Other parts of the world would also feel the impact, though less intensely. The Pacific's background radiation would temporarily increase before returning to normal. Alternatively, if we set off the bomb at the trench's very bottom, 5 to 7 miles or 8 to 11 kilometers deep, the effects would be even more intense. However, I'll save you the details unless you're particularly keen on underwater explosions and their aftermath. In either case, it's safe to say, detonating a nuke in the Mariana Trench would cause significant chaos, and the world would be dealing with the consequences for a long time. All right, let's break down the scenario of setting off a nuclear bomb in the Mariana Trench without getting too technical. So, the Mariana Trench is where two big pieces of the Earth's surface, tectonic plates, meet, the Pacific and the Filipino. If we decide to explode a mega nuclear device here, things can get pretty dicey. The explosion shock wave, combined with the underwater pressure, will create a massive force right where these plates meet. Picture it like pushing two big puzzle pieces together, trouble brews. The plates might start moving towards each other or away real fast, and both options are not great news for us. Now, if the bomb goes off at or near the bottom, it's not just going to be a gigantic splash. The energy will travel along the plate boundary super quick, like a ripple effect. Some of that energy will bounce back up and create an enormous ultra-super tsunami. And guess what? This tsunami is just the start of our problems. We're in for mega earthquakes, like magnitude 12 across the entire ring of fire. That, in turn, will trigger even bigger tsunamis than the first wave. After that, get ready for a colossal burst of magma at the explosion spot, setting off a series of volcanic eruptions. And this volcanic party won't wrap up quickly, it might last for at least a month. Now, with acid rain falling from the sky and ash blocking sunlight, it's like a one-two punch. This combo, along with the tsunamis and the cold weather from all the volcanic stuff, could lead to a global disaster. Many species, including us humans, might find ourselves in real trouble, maybe even on the edge of extinction. There's also a wild chance that if we explode a Tsar bomber-type bomb about 1.5 miles from the trench's bottom, it might punch a hole in the Earth's crust, creating a magma fountain. This fancy fountain could form a new continent, but it comes with the same tsunamis and environmental problems we talked about earlier. And as a bonus, the impact could nudge the Earth slightly out of its usual orbit, either making it too hot or too cold for comfort. Now, there's one last crazy thought, if the explosion hits a tectonic fault, it could tear the planet apart. But thankfully, the odds of any of these extreme scenarios happening are really, really low. Humans learned from their mistakes. After the Tsar Bomber's successful test in 1963, 
countries in the nuclear club signed a treaty in Moscow, agreeing not to test nuclear weapons in the air, space, or underwater. It's like a safety measure to prevent any future doomsday scenarios. So, in the end, we're not as foolish as we may seem. We've taken steps to keep ourselves safe and avoid any world-ending disasters. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.